What's cracking big dogs? Good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. If you're a new subscriber to the channel, salute. Welcome. My name is Nick and today I'm going to be switching things up a little bit and get into a category that I have not yet touched on this channel and that is men's clothing, fashion, style. Now more than ever that shit is very relevant. In 2016 people are way more conscious of how they look. They want to look good when they're going out. As compared to, you know, five, ten years ago when people didn't give a shit. They were wearing sweatpants to the bar. They were wearing t-shirts with holes in them and whatnot. Nowadays, you want to pull, you got to look good, gentlemen. And this video is going to cover my top five favorite online websites or physical retailers that sell men's clothing. And this covers an age range of probably anywhere from, you know, 15 up to 35, 40. If you want to look good, these will cover that, whether you're looking to go out on a date whether you're going on a job interview or if you're just simply walking through the mall, I got you covered. There's going to be an unboxing as well. I just got a package in today from one of these stores, one of my favorite stores, ASOS.com. Got a couple bomber jackets because apparently that's the in style nowadays and you got to be in if you want to pull. So without further ado, let's get cracking. All right, so number one on the list, and this is in no particular order, I love all these places I've ordered from them too many times, to be honest with you, is ASOS, like I just mentioned, and I'm going to do the kind of unboxing thing before I even get into the list because maybe it'll give you a better idea what kind of clothes I'm talking about in terms of these retailers and these websites, so let's get this cracking first, ASOS.com. Okay, so what I got here is the two bomber jackets, the black one, the white one. And then I ordered the white one in two different sizes because I'm not sure. Obviously, when you're ordering shit online, it's hard to tell unless you've been to the store a bunch of times and you know how their sizing fits, um, which is very important with ASOS. They do free returns and free delivery worldwide. No matter what you are, where you are, when you are, how you are, all that shit, they'll, they'll hit you up for free. They, it comes with a return label in the, in the bag already. Um, so you can order multiple sizes and don't worry, you like the customer service there is great. So you'll be able to return the shit. No problem. Um, and get your money back in full. if Something doesn't fit. So like I said, I got the two, uh, white, just same exact thing, two different sizes. Just I'll return one, whichever one doesn't fit. And then I got the black one. So let's open these bad boys up. All right. So we got the black one. It looks nice thus far. Very plain. That's my style. Everything slim fit, everything plain if it's available. So that's me, just a plain, plain, plain black bomber jacket. Looks super nice. I'll link these in the uh, description, the exact ones I bought. And let's try this on. All right, so we got the jacket on. I'm loving it. Fits awesome. This is kind of the style now, you know, throw a fucking a hoodie underneath it. It's nice. It's slim. It, it ends pretty uh, at a short you know, a short length, which is good. It's supposed to hit like right by your waist, right where your like belt would be. So then you can put something longer underneath it. So this is awesome. Uh, I'm digging this. I'm definitely going to keep this one. And I want to say this was like 30, 35 bucks maybe. And then with the discount, probably cheaper. Um, so there's no hood on this or anything. It's cut off there. And you probably can't see that with the camera. I'm an idiot. But it gives you room to throw uh, a nice sweatshirt underneath. You could also do a t-shirt you know depending on your style or whatnot so this is dope i'm excited about the first first package all right then we got the second one the white one now this one's definitely a little more questionable in terms of my uh style i got these big ass pockets that take up half your stomach um i got some shit on the side here and the material i'm not even sure what the material is if it says it on here it's more of like a i don't know if you could feel that it's not cotton it's like I don't know, whatever. We'll try it on. This is like, this says like fucking Backstreet Boys all over it. But you know what? I like white things. I got a white car. I got everything in white. My mom yells at me because I ruined that shit like within a week. I got my brand new white Ultra Boost on. Them shits are fire. The best shoes in the game right now. Anyways, let's try this bad boy on for you. All right, so we got the white one on. Um, definitely not as big of a fan of this one as I am the black. 
Um, I mean, it fits well. It's pretty short, and this is actually the medium, so I can't imagine what the small would look like. I mean, it fits well in the arm. It's nice and like tight fit. It's a little baggy by the waist, which I don't really love. And I'm, to be honest, I don't really love the material. I didn't realize it when I ordered it. I got the pockets on the side, which is cool. The kids are doing. Um, otherwise, you know, if this was maybe the same material as the black one, I think the black one's just like all cotton. I probably would fuck with it, but um, I'm probably going to return this one. Um, you don't really need like 17 bomber jackets, so everyone just kind of relax with the whole style. Get one, get one nice, get one plain, one slim fit that works for you that you could throw. You know, these the style's cool because the bomber jackets you could throw a sweatshirt on underneath, you could throw a t-shirt, a long sleeve shirt. Uh, you can really mix up the whole style you got going on, which is dope. And um, if you got a plain one, you know, it works with kind of any, any kind of pants that you put on underneath it. Uh, so... Yeah, so I, those are the two unboxing. I'm going to return the white ones, which is cool because I'm kind of hurting in the bank right now. If you watched my last video, I told you I went to AC. That shit didn't work out too well. Um, we'll just say I did not win. So that'll be a nice little refund to my bank card, but let's get to the list. All right, so I hope you all enjoyed that. I actually kind of have fun doing that, to be honest with you. Um, so the first, first name on my list is obviously ASOS.com. They are... UK based, they are the largest online fashion and beauty UK based retailer, um, which is pretty cool. They have over like 850 brands. It's for men's, women's. As you can see from the unboxing, you know, that's the kind of clothing they have. Uh, very in style, I guess you could say. Whatever's going on right now, whatever's fashion forward, whatever. Um, so you can get bomber jackets, you can get the sweatshirts actually from there, which is more of just like a, kind of goes with other, like for that reason, I put it under the bomber jacket. I wouldn't really wear this normally, but, um, so they have that, that's the kind of things they have. Like I said, free delivery, uh, free returns. I'm, I literally just package up those two white ones, put it in the box. They give you a free return sticker. You just throw it into USPS, wherever those boxes are. Let's see. And they they almost always, always, always have a deal going on on their website. If you log on, it's usually always 20 or 30% off. So whatever you're buying, you're automatically getting a discount on it. If you sign up for their newsletter, uh, student discount. So they're always looking to give you deals on their website, which is cool. So you can get it for a lot cheaper than normal. Again, with the free shipping and everything like that. Now, I don't think they have a physical store. If any UK folks are watching the channel, you could check me on that. Um, let me know if they actually do have anything going on in the UK, which would be pretty cool. I don't know what it would look like because they have so many brands on the website. But um, yeah, ASOS is dope. They have a big social media platform. You know, they're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that kind of shit. So if you want to go follow them, go. I'm not linking anything. Go to Google, type in ASOS. It's not that hard to figure out. Number one, ASOS.com. All right, number two. H&M. A lot of you U.S. folks have probably heard this if you're on the coast, I guess. Um, H&M is, is similar to ASOS, uh, but H&M is probably more fashion forward. They have a lot more more in stuff. Um, I would definitely suggest going into their store to try shit on rather than ordering online. Um, but same deal, you know, they'll give you the free return, free shipping, all that kind of stuff. They have a great selection of, of, of clothing, whether, whether it be jackets, sweatshirts, t-shirts, button downs, jeans. Now they're super, super, super duper affordable. You can literally go in there with like a hundred bucks and come out with probably like two to three new outfits. And I've gotten my winter jackets there like for the last like four years consecutively. I never paid over like 40 bucks for a jacket there. It's awesome. Um, I'm on the website right now. If you go online, again, sign up for the newsletter, you'll get discounts. They're sending out discounts all the time. Uh, you don't even really need discounts because the shit is so cheap. If you get a 15% off discount from like a $19 shirt and you really saving that much, it doesn't really matter. Um, but h and is though, very fashion forward. They have all, they're in store, obviously, like I said, I would suggest doing that over ordering online because they are everywhere. So just go on h and do the store locator. Um, Find out where they're located near you. Be careful though, because a lot of the stores for some reason are women only. I don't know why. A lot of the ones near me in the malls and stuff only have a women's selection, which is kind of shitty because I'll walk by and be like, hey, yeah, let's go. H&M, bet, I'm going in there. And then I get in and it's, I'm like, where's the men's? And they're like, you're an idiot. This is only women's. If you're shopping for your girlfriend, which you don't have, you found the right place. Unfortunately, I'm not in the right place. So you got to go to the next one or whatever it may be. So keep an eye out for that. Numero Trace, Nordstrom Rack. Okay, so I mentioned Nordstrom before, and that shit is wildly expensive if you're not a rich person. Uh, so NordstromRack.com is basically Nordstrom's little adopted brother, I guess you could say. Now they get all of the, I'm not really even sure how it works, but they get 
they have all the same brands and stuff. You get very high end brands at Nordstrom Rack for like a huge discount of the price. I'm not sure, maybe they're out of style. Like who the fuck cares if you're wearing last year's spring collection for a hundred dollars less than it would normally be. Like, all right, sign my ass up. Nordstrom Rack has all the high end. If you're looking for quality jeans, if you're looking for quality, even like dress shirts, dress shoes, jackets, uh, they have a great shoe selection. So if you have a Nordstrom Rack, like a physical location by you, I 100,000 bajillion percent suggest you go check them out because I do a ton of shopping there and you don't have to spend a lot of money. You could sign up for their, their credit card or their debit card, which is basically just their rewards card. And uh, after you sign up and you start spending money, you know, they give you these, they call them notes and they're basically gift certificates. So if you spend like a hundred bucks or whatever, they'll send you a, a $10 note and that's just a gift card, um, which is cool, you know, and, and you get more points as you spend more and they have days throughout the year where it's like four times the points. So if you spend a hundred dollars, you're really getting like $400 worth of, um, credit or points or whatever how it works i buy a ton of my i buy a lot of my jeans there um jeans are something i definitely don't skimp out on i like high quality jeans because those are something that you're wearing like every fucking day and you could wear those every day for like six months straight so why skimp on those when they're going to be like the key piece of your outfit you know hudson is definitely my uh my number one jean brand you know their their jeans run anywhere from like 100 to 250 at Nordstrom rack you could find most of them for like 60 70 uh same same with like a lot of the other like lesser retail outlets like that like Saks off fifth avenue um i think bloomingdale's some of those ones that will sell like high-end shit for a lower price so check out Nordstrom rack they usually do free shipping after a certain amount of money they always do free returns no problem you could Send them back within 90 days. You can go to the store and return it. No problem. Uh, no questions asked. They're very good with their customer service that way. Yeah, so check that out if you're looking for nice, like, dress shoes, too. They have, you know, like, um, Kohan. They have all Clarks, and they have all those high-end ones. So if you're, if you're looking for, like, you're going for an interview or you need something to dress up for a nice occasion, whatnot, hit up Nordstrom Rack. They have good high-end stuff. Numero four is this. Uh, I'm kind of going to group them together, but I'm going to go with, like, PacSun.com. This is more like the skateboarder-ish kind of um, skateboarder-ish kind of genre, you could say. But they do a lot of, you know, they have a lot of the same styles that you would be shopping for in any of the stores that I mentioned priorly, like um, priorlessly. Like I swear, when I talk on here, I don't listen to myself and I just make shit up because I talk so fast. Previously, it's like ASOS, H and M, Paxson falls into that um, realm, and they do. A lot of a lot of the clothes in there are their own brand, like Paxson. Like you, like if you're looking for denim, if you're looking for jeans, Paxson has their own jeans in there, along with like Bullethead. But I don't really fuck with the jeans that they have in Paxson. I would go elsewhere. But in terms of like sweatshirts and and t-shirts, they have all those like the, like the long t-shirts with like the the scallop finish. You know, I think those look better than regular t-shirts. But they're they're pretty in style when it comes to those things, and, and they're affordable. You know, they always have the the two for thirty deals going on with with t-shirts and stuff like that. They have a good um, great lineup of like shoes and stuff. They always have like good Nike skateboarding shoes. They always have the new Adidas. Whether you're looking for the tubulars or the NMDs, if if I don't know if you guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about unless you're actually into sneakers. Um, but for the most part, yeah, Paxon.com is dope. They have a ton of locations everywhere. Um, they were shutting down a bunch of them that were in my area. I don't know if they're, you know, PacSun stands for Pacific Sun, so like they're a West Coast based company. Um, so I'm assuming they have a lot of stores still open on, in California, unless they're like too, they went too mainstream and people over there are like, oh, they surf and I don't like mainstream shit. And so they started, I don't really know, but I like PacSun. Um, and they also have stores like, you know, like Zoomies and all those kind of skateboarding stores sell a lot of the same merchandise and a lot of the same um, brands like Adidas, Huff. Uh, Obey, which is cool. You can find a lot of the same stuff. One of my favorite brands in PacSun is called On The Bias. Bias, B-Y-A-S. Awesome t-shirts. They fit really well. Um, but yeah, PacSun, hit them up. They have, uh, they have doing a holiday sale right now up to 50% off, free shipping over 50 beans. And if you sign up, you know, they give you uh, uh, some kind of percentage discount on your first order. And you can, they also have an app, it's called like My G S O M Rewards. And I think if you sign up for that, they automatically give you a $5 gift card off the bat, which is cool. So packs on, check them out. Obviously girls and boys, so that's cool. Okay, numero five. This one, this is a recent one that I just kind of got into. And I might be super late to the game. If any of you guys are actually into like men's clothing, you're probably gonna be like, Nick, what the fuck are you talking about? This shit's been around forever. And this is Zara. 
zara.com slash us I mean, for you guys that are international they have their international stores and stuff but i just started working in the city in new york uh so i didn't really know about zara and then i passed the zara and i went in and i was like wow this is this is like a dope store they got a lot a lot of good clothing for like men my age uh and, and this is more this isn't like this streetwear or the um or like the skateboarding kind of style that I previously mentioned. This is more, this is more, I don't want to say upscale, but it's like higher end if you're trying to look nice. If you want a nice jacket, they have a ton of blazers. You know, they have their own denim, which is cool. This is a this is a good place to look for jeans. They do a lot of slim fit and skinny fit, and they have that look where it's, you know, you have room by the thighs and then it, and then it tapers down. Um, and then it tapers down from like the knee to the ankle. So it's got that really nice fit looking. And, and they do a ton of the slim fit stuff, which I said is, is my kind of style. So I dig Zara. They're a little more expensive, most of their shit, but you can get a lot of it discounted. Uh, they have promo codes all the time and they have a lot of stuff uh, online. If you go check them out, like I said, zara.com slash US. They just opened a Zara in the mall right by me. I haven't checked it out yet because I'm sure it's a fucking madhouse between like Black Friday, the holidays, and it just being a new store opening. Uh, so I'm looking forward to get over there because I know they have a ton of nice like bomber jackets and stuff and they have the jeans and they have cool blazers So next time I'm going out somewhere and you know, I'm trying to look a little funky I like to push the edge on my style a little bit I might hit them up see what kind of weird ass shit they got going on over there So check out Zara and that kind of rounds out the list. I believe so we had asos.com. We had PacSun slash like zoomy slash all those skateboarders Nordstromrack.com. We had H&M and we rounded it out with Zara. And there's definitely some honorable mentions on there. Uh, I like this this online retailer called KarmaLoop.com. It's Karma, K-A-R-M-A, Loop.com. Now they're all, all about like the streetwear. They have like a billion fucking brands. They might be like the largest online store. I think they were actually just, they almost went bankrupt because they literally used to give out, like every day I went on there and they'd be like, oh, 60% off site-wide. I'm like, legit 60% off. So. Uh, they were just giving shit out for free. They eventually had to change CEOs or something because they were going down the tank and for obvious reasons. Uh, but they have like a fucking bajillion different brands. And it's kind of hard to order from them. They do have shitty ass customer service. Any of you motherfuckers work at Karma Loop, I'm, you can stop watching my fucking channel. I do fuck with the entire lineup of stuff they have there between the shoes and the men's clothing. Also girls too. Sorry to discriminate, but this, this kind of video is for people my age-ish, like 18 to 30 range that are that are fashion conscious, I guess you could say, and are looking for good, reliable, nice clothing uh, for an affordable price. Something that I am super into and I like. I, I buy so much fucking clothing. I spend so much money on clothes. It's fucking absurd, to be honest with you. Uh, but like I said, it's something I'm kind of into, something I'm passionate about, so I figured I'd share it with you. If that helps anyone, thank goodness. If it didn't, then I just wasted a lot of time doing this video. But I had fun doing it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you kind of like this style of video from my fantasy football homies. Uh, it's Monday, so I will be getting a video out about week 13. Wrap up week 13, waiver wires, injuries, all that bullshit, either tonight or uh, tomorrow. I'll have to see uh, what's good, see how busy I am, see if I can get it up. I got to do a little work on the website. Like I said, the website is up bdgeat.com so bdgeat.com it's like very fucking beta version right now because i don't have um i'm working on it by myself obviously i'm not like a website designer or nothing like that uh but i think it looks pretty good as of now i need to get more content up there of course and as for if you guys watched my last video you know i'm doing the uh online nutrition kind of coaching thing We've got a ton of people to sign up. So I only took five in the first round, but there are about five to seven other people that will be doing uh, the next round. And I might even add them in the first round, depending on if I can handle like the workload with the five first people. I'm super looking forward to how that's going. Uh, if you're interested in online nutrition coaching for free, completely free for now, because I haven't done this before, so I'm not gonna charge you guys, obviously. But um, if you fuck with me, hit the thumbs up subscribe share do whatever you gotta do if you order some stuff from any of these websites let me know let me know what you ordered so i'm interested to see you know what other people's styles is because i'm always looking to kind of change my repertoire feng shui all those fancy french words so yeah hit me up if you're interested in the online nutrition email me at nickirk1.com that's retarded nickirk1 at gmail.com don't do the first one that shit won't go through 
Uh, I'll link everything in the description, the items I bought, the five websites I described, and uh, my email to hit me up as, long as, as well as the website. So thank you guys for tuning in. I love you guys. Uh, always appreciate the support when you guys reach out to me. I fuck with that, so have a good one.